Hello friends, welcome to dedicatedcode.com. We, as a server provider, would like to help you in all the prospectives. So, we come up with a new series called as a cPanel WHM installation and all the necessary installations which needs for cPanel based server. And one more thing, if you wanted to do the management or server installation or any kind of a server configurations, settings or setups, that time we are available 24 by 7 you can able to come up with your server we will help you in the management whereas we also provide servers and including management facilities let's start with the cpanel installation this video is all about how to install a cpanel that is cpanel or whm in your linux based operating system so these are alma linux cintos or rocky linux even this process can be worked with Cloud Linux. So let's begin with the process. Before moving further, we must need to know the basic requirement of cPanel. As you know, to complete the setup, we need 2GB of RAM and 40GB of storage. Whereas cPanel works on 64-bit architecture and when we talk about processor, it should be about 2 GHz. So let's start with the next process to start the installation of cPanel. As you know, each operating system comes with its own firewall. In this video, we are doing the same process for CentOS OS, Alma Linux, Rocky Linux and Cloud Linux. So in this case, we first need to disable our firewall so we can smoothly install our cPanel. For that, there is one command we can enter this the above command is showing not found so we will try to stop the firewall here you can able to see that the firewall has been not loaded and lastly we will try to disable the firewall and here you can able to clearly see that this server do not have a firewall so we are already completed with this step but if you had the firewall in alma linux cloud linux or rocky linux that time you can able to follow these three commands it will automatically disable your firewall so we can able to install cpanel and after that we will do a firewall settings now it is time to update our repositories to update the repository we can able to use this command sudo dnf space update it will take some time to update all the repositories so our installation will run smoothly Please make sure that this process will take 5 to 10 minutes. As you can see, our server upgrade has been completed. Now, only one thing is remaining. So, after that, we can able to directly move on for the cPanel installation, that is WHM installation. For that, we need as a cPanel, the one thing that is SE Linux in enforcing mode does not allow cPanel or WHM to function properly. So, to run WHM smoothly, we need to disable SCL Linux. To disable the SC Linux, we can directly go to this file and edit and hit enter. Here, you can able to see that SC Linux is already disabled. That means we do not need to disable it. So, in this case, you can able to clearly see that here. If it is unable, so you can able to directly edit this file and make it disable. And after that, save the file. Once we completed this basic requirement, now we can move further for installation of Perl. To install the Perl, we can able to use this command sudo space dnf install Perl. It will ask for the permission, say yes. Now wait, this is extremely important steps. Please make sure that if you are facing any server installation or any problem in the server, so that time you can able to opt or you can able to contact dedicated course. So if you want any management services, that time we can able to assist you. Okay. So here, after clearing the screen, now please make sure that we are going to start the cPanel installation. cPanel installation is extremely important part, but if in duration of the cPanel installation, or if our connection to the booty or server is not connected or disconnected so that time installation will mail loss so in this case we need to install a screen so the screen do's here is 
you can able to start the screen and you can able to start the installation of cPanel. So that means in the back end cPanel installation will run even if your server got disconnected from your laptop or computer. So let's start with the process. To install a screen, we first need to install this. It will ask for the permission and after that we can directly install a screen. It will ask for the permission, say yes, say yes and done. Now we completed the firewall disable. Before starting installation, we completed almost everything which required for the cPanel installation. So now after doing all those things, we need to reboot the system because without rebooting system, these changes will may not be applied. So better we will reboot and then we will directly start the screen and installation process. Reboot and hit enter. Our system has been rebooted successfully. Now let me log in. After that, I need to start the screen. To start the screen, command is screen and hit enter. You can see our screen has been started. After that, we can able to directly go to the official side of cPanel. Here it is the website and you can able to see here a command. Please make sure that in this process, if you are facing any issues, so that time, if you do any wrong settings or thing, your entire servers may go crash. So better to have an administrator with you to manage your server. As a dedicated server provider or a VPS server provider, we also has our own team to manage these kind of issues. So you can able to take help from our support. Now you can able to see that after entering a command, cPanel installation process has been started. Now you can able to say almost 20 to 30 minutes later, the installation will automatically complete. This is how the installation work. But after doing completion of the installation, we still need to do a lot of settings. So please stay with this video. So please wait for this video to complete. As you know, we already started a screen. So now it is time to close the screen. So in backend cPanel installation will run. And once complete, we will again open the screen and we will resume for further. To start the recording of the screen, we need to use a command control A D. Let me clear the screen and you can able to see that the cPanel installation is now went into the screen. After 20 minutes, we will check whether our installation has been completed or not. This is only happened because of screen. So don't uh, do any wrong things. Please make sure that screen is very important because if your internet connection got disconnected, so that time you may face the installation issue. So for that, we use the screen. Now, after 20 minutes, we will check as we have completed 20 minutes. Now we will recheck it. Now we can able to see that our cPanel installation has been completed successfully. And here you can able to screen the URL by which you can able to log in into your server. As SSL is not installed, so that time you can able to click on advanced and click on process with this. Now we are on the screen. Here you need to type your root as a username and enter password. Password is as same as your SSH password. And here you can able to see we are successfully logged into cPanel. Now here we need to do certain settings and accept the legal policies and terms and condition of cPanel. Click here, continue. Here you can able to see that it will ask for to log in into cPanel store because we need a license to continue this process. But in our case, we already purchased a license from dedicatedco.com. So we can able to up directly apply and we'll move further. But if you want a server with cPanel, that time dedicated core is one of the best because we knows our pricing competition with other competitors and also we knows our server qualifications or quality. So that time in both end, you will get a better quality support, better server hardware and all the licenses at very extremely reasonable cost. So that means if you are buying a cPanel license from official website, so that time you might need to pay at least 30% extra. So to save the 30%, you can able to directly buy a server licenses from dedicatedco.com and get a support as well. Let's pause the screen. I will complete this uh, licensing part and we will move further for the next setup. Now we completed our licensing part. Here it will ask for the email ID. So make sure that enter a proper email ID because here you will get a notification if anything goes wrong. So make sure that enter the email ID here properly and here we need to set up the name server. So you can able to enter here all the name servers. But in our case, we are going to set up it later on that 
video series is already given in the description of this video that is a reseller hosting series so in that we had covered this part so no need to cover in our core cpanel server level installation okay click on finish after that it is saying that new feature arrived that is managed team is now available so now we can able to click on save settings wait for update this feature here we go we are successfully logged into our server so this is how the installation process work and now on we need to start doing a further settings this is a huge video series with that there are a lot of things need to be covered and these might be a tweak setting multi php ini uh, exim settings backup settings uh, tweak settings and there are a lot of things will be there and along with that the third party applications or plugins called as a softacular site bad uh, security applications that means like a firewall uh, immunify 360 cp guard so these are all things we are going to cover in this entire series so here we will first go to the here and type name server name server here you can able to see that name resolver so click on this and here click on process make sure that enter these two ip addresses here properly because this helps to properly work your dns settings and server connectivities to know more about this you can able to read these instructions after that we will enter here a dns and look for the entry name server selections and here we have our two options in that the power dns is one of the most lightweighted and powerful dns management tool or a program that helps to manage your dns so in this case we will choose power dns and click on save after that we will check for the ftp ftp and click ftp server selection in this case we should choose pure ftp d because this is one of the most powerful nowadays people are using and click on save wait for to complete this settings and our ftp conversion has been completed now we will check cp hulk brute force protection it should be enabled after that you can able to keep all the settings default one but if you wanted to do certain settings like ip blocking or any kind of like uh, history saving or notifications you can able to do it from here so let's say if someone is trying to uh, do a brute force attack on your server so that time you want a notification so that time you can able to tick mark the necessary things so you can able to read and understand what things required for your project and here lot of things will be there so in this case if in single minute if someone tries from the same ip address 15 times and that to be uh, in that five times it get failed so that time it will automatically get blocked so that is how you can able to uh, configure cp hulk for brute force protection let's move further and click on update preference and scroll down to the bottom here we set its custom one because or you can able to set to the standard one please make sure that do not do a changes or do not set automated update because sometimes you might need a very critical operation on the server and that same time sir c panel got updated so in this case your c panel got locked for the particular time so better do it manually or set a timer so you can able to do uh, so c panel automatically update as per the uh, given time now we can able to close this video because in this video we had covered the basic installation setups and from next video we will do the further settings in the server